Hey guys, it's John from Wrestling Talking the Shop, and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do today in wrestling history for August the 21st. On this day in 1979, Dusty Rhodes defeated Harley Race to win his very first NWA World Heavyweight title in Tampa, Florida. He would hold the belt only five days before losing it back. Back then, that was pretty typical. I mean, the champion might go to a territory for a week or two, and the title may change hands. I'm sure there's title change that title changes that took place that we don't know about, you know, that aren't on record, you know. But anyway, on this day in 2000, Lita defeated Stephanie McMahon to win the WWE Women's title. This match was the first time in history that a uh, women's match made event in Monday Night Raw. Huh, I thought it was uh, Trish and uh, Lita, but I guess it was Stephanie and Lita. On this day in 2005, uh, SummerSlam takes place in Washington, D.C. This event, this event is notable for the uh, Shawn Michaels facing Hulk Hogan in a single uh, action for the first time. Hogan takes the win in what's proved to be their only encounter. It was supposed to be a uh, two out of three falls, or I mean not two out of three falls, but a three three match series, and uh, but they couldn't get couldn't get together. I mean, you just picture two egos, Hulk Hogan and Shawn Michaels. That match is very uh, famous. Shawn Michaels bumped around like a wild man. I mean, he bounced all over the ring, and I guess he was trying to make Hogan look uh, look goofy. And I mean, it really is something. Go back and watch it. And then the next night in Montreal, he cut that promo and uh, in uh, on Hulk Hogan and basically said, you know. But anyways. Uh, crazy time. Earlier in the show, Rey Mysterio fought Eddie Guerrero in a ladder match with custody of uh, D Dirty Dom, Dominic, as the prize. I mean, like I said, crazy time in professional wrestling. We're having a repeat. Of, had a repeat of that. Yeah. Did we have? We didn't have a repeat of that, did we? Well, I mean, live one custody. So. Oh, well, <laughs> you're saying yeah. But uh, anyway, on this day in 2016, uh, SummerSlam was held in New York at the Barclays Center. Finn Balor defeated Seth Rollins uh, to become the inaugural WWE Universal Champion. He was forced to vacate the belt to injury the next night. And he hadn't been able to capture it since. I mean, I thought Finn, ba Finn Balor would have been a uh, great world champion, but apparently they don't think so. Elsewhere on the show, Charlotte Flair defeated Sha Sasha Banks to win the uh, Raw Women's title. And Brock Lesnar uh, defeated Randy Orton in the night's main event. Shortly after, I think later, or... Brock, didn't Brock, he went, that was around the time he went back to the UFC and fought Mark Hunt. I mean, that was his only one and only match. I mean, and he uh, he busted Randy Orton open and during that match. He was hitting him with them elbows and stuff. I just remember, we watched that that UFC. Was that, that was yeah, after was, the fact. Yeah, because they, yeah. uh, they were promoting the UFC deal. But anyway, on this day in uh, 2020, despite being attacked by Retribution earlier in the show, Jeff Hardy managed to defeat AJ Styles for the Intercontinental Champion in the main event at WWE SmackDown. And uh, but that's going to wrap it up for today in wrestling history, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell.